I feel like this past year has been something that I can't even begin to describe. Even with a thesaurus in hand, no amount of complicated adjectives properly illustrate what we have all been going through. For now though, I'll stick with the word harsh. This year has not been kind, regardless of the amounts of positivity and optimism we poured into it. Strenuous, grueling, harsh. As I prepare to turn the page onto a new chapter, I like to look back at how far I've come. What you're about to see here is my first vlog. Or rather, I'll look back on the journey itself to better appreciate the good, no matter how outweighed it may be by the bad. I moved to Brussels in my second year of art school and remained in the city after graduation. My little Saint-Gilles flat was my third living place in the capital and no matter how difficult things became, my little city shoebox turned out to be somewhere I could really call home. Jobs changed, friends came and left, and no matter how cold the winters were, in the end, it was always just me and Bachi in a little Brussels flat. It's funny, because I was ready to leave. I was ready to leave my so-called home last year and fly away to Tokyo hungry for new adventures. My bags were packed, my furniture sold. It is starting to get more and more empty. And then the pandemic hit, along with a wave of bitter disappointment as I stood with one foot out the door. From then on out, home started to feel like a cell, a cold, lonely cell, which stripped my purpose and my resolve little by little until it ate away at my health too. Still, I waited. I clung to the memories of home and waited for the jail doors to swing open as I escaped. Instead, another door opened to what seemed to be another different kind of cell, a different place to wait in, a place which wasn't home, though let's face it, home hadn't felt like home for a while now, and who knows how much longer I'd be kept waiting. So I squeezed myself through that other door, and with it, my heart squeezed too, as I left part of myself behind. That's why I say it's funny, because I was ready to leave, but leaving for a different destination than intended felt like pulling teeth. The Brussels chapter has closed, and behind it was supposed to be the beginning of the Tokyo one. Though I should currently be writing the chapter that I'm in now, I can't help but feel like I'm still waiting, that I'm frozen in space, but not in time, as it continues to leap forward without me. I want to hang on to something as it flies past me, but everything I hold on to turns to air. Nothing but clouds. They float in the same way I have been for the past 13 months. Honestly, it's hard not to feel like a cloud myself, coasting while guided by the wind. This is not where I thought I was headed. I'm standing in the middle of a blank page. I can write what I want, but I'm limited to its format. I'm waiting, though what I do while I wait is up to me. I'm looking for the strength I need to hold the pen again and make new words appear. Some cursive sentences where things have been blank for too long. Can I even remember how to write? I'm anxious to even try. Let's start. I'll reach out my hand to see what I can hold on to. Family, friends, all the support that I don't always feel like I deserve. Early morning Japanese classes to get me out of bed and fresh air away from the city pollution. I feel like I can try. I feel like I can wait just a little longer. I'll stay in line and I'll wait for my turn just a little longer and maybe soon I'll be able to do something more than just stand very still while saving my breath and energy. I'm hoping that this new waiting room will allow me to hibernate and recharge so that I'm ready when the line starts moving forward. I'm hoping that those who have been kept waiting with me haven't turned away bored of my idleness. I'm hoping. I'm hoping for it all perfect outcome. 
the exciting adventure. Everything I know that I can make happen for myself. Everything that I could start right now. If I could only, if I could just grab that pen and write. What's the name of this chapter? I'm hoping for a short one. <laughs>